Hello and welcome back to another video. So today I'm not playing Expo, I am doing something a little bit different. I'm playing good old Elixir Golem. Not going to be playing Elixir Golem on ladder though, I'm going to be playing Infinite Elixir mode. Basically just means you spam as many Elixir Golems as your fingers can put down and just play some support behind them. Okay, so hopping into the first game here against Apoka. I don't know why I'm talking fast, I just really have to place the cards fast. He's going right in. Oh, we got the clone as well, so I think a NATO Barbara will clean most of that up, and then we just golem at the bridge and go for the best. And I think with the Mega Knight there, it might be GG. I kind of want to pull this giant skelly so it doesn't kill everything. Oh, nice. Just a minor break here. Maybe a message from the sponsors or something if we can put it in. Uh, so, uh... Maybe we'll try. Oh, 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 we're back. We're back. We're back. Are we back? We're, we're back. We're back. We're not back. We're restarting. Do, 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 do. Okay, we're back. We're back. Full on back. Here we go. Like nothing even happened. Uh, not like the start I would like, but honestly, it's still surprisingly winnable. And uh, just get my giant skelly going here. He just mirrored that. So I'm going for the eagle and push on the right. I actually think I can take the right hand tower. Uh, am I worried about the balloon? Yeah, because it's going to kill the e is. Yeah, honestly, I think this is still very winnable. It helps I had like such a good start right off the bat. Need doing all that in. Get another eagle and push going here. Uh, don't have to really properly defend that loon. Got enough air troops down, it'll just wipe it out. Uh, could bar barrel this skelly barrel. Got bar barrel, might as well use it. And I think now I actually counter push, and then this could be very close to GG. Do this, and then I just want to pull this away from uh, everything else. So the giant skelly bombs and completely shut down my push. Okay, one of those should die from the E waves. I'm gonna still NATO everything, just don't like that death damage. And with another eagle and push coming in on the left, I'm just NATOing all that in. I think I know you're going push going on the right now. Got to deal with the loon first. Good old NATO bar barrel will clean that up. Ah, I should be blocking that giant skelly. Bomb damage is a bit too much for me, just a bit. And I just spam some stuff towards the king tower. I think I can win it here. And yeah, NATO everything in. It's looking good. He might get a balloon lock here, but like, I think we got the tower. Whew. So probably not like the cleanest game. My Wi-Fi just decided it was going to go out. I guess that was my dad that went out, but Wi-Fi came in clutch. On to another game here versus Fahad. And I clipped a ladder. <laughs> oh my. This is not at all a ladder tech. Like... Normal e golem, it's like maybe I'd be doable on ladder, but I literally swapped out fireball for rocket and giant skelly. I think that was for like a spirit or something that I swapped that dude out for. I don't even have NATO in hand for this. Oh my. Hmm. <laughs> like, oh, I didn't even know. I didn't go with the bridge. Oh man. Rough start. <laughs> Okay, um, due to some technical difficulties, we will be right back in uh, five minutes. Okay, we are back. Elixir is flowing at seven times the speed. All is well. He's going right in. Is this going to be the giant skelly clone? No, it's modified. Oh, it's eagle -um. Oh no, my own deck against me. eagle -um golem. Okay, okay. I see what we're doing here. I don't actually see what we're doing, but it's, it's a deck, all right. I think we just do the old rocket nato there. Oh, I pulled in a loon too. Wasn't expecting that. Holy shit, this is going to do some mad damage. I might actually like have to sack the tower. I'm literally trying to pull the giant skelly just out of uh, killing all my troops range. <laughs> this is looking so questionable right now. Uh, I do think I have like a counter push, but the amount of spam that he's able to do is actually pretty good. Like I've got, now I've just got two naked golems just chilling around there. 
Ooh, I didn't actually pull the skellies there. I got NATO in. Holy, this guy. I, I do actually have such a good counter push going. But, like, is he going to be able to three short me by constantly spamming that? I don't think so. No, it's over now. That was so questionable. He literally just kept spamming. I made a couple misplays. And I was not able to get my footing. Okay, there we go. Definitely not a very clean match, but it should be a 3-1. That's why I like 7x. It's just way too chaotic. All right, going to another game here. I'm going to try not to get uh, completely demolished before winning this time. I might just try for a clean 3. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. What? Oh, level 13 eagle. Um, are you mad? Oh, he's one of those guys that are like, um, I'm going to use the low-level troops so I can get matched against low-level players because that is a good way to get wins. But now we're going to ruin this guy's day. Sorry, man, you want to get matched with a low-level player, but not today. Getting matched with an eagle and player, which I guess is low-level player, but doesn't matter because it should be easy claps. Uh, I'm going to NATO, but I'm not actually going to rock it. Yeah, actually, I think it's is easy claps. Like, I could fireball the firecrackers if they get too overwhelming. Like, uh, that's not fireball rocket NATO them, but that didn't even happen to be the case here. Damn. I guess he needed some lower level cards to get matched with someone uh, a little lower level than me and he'd have his chance. Alright, going to match here against Leo. And just like every single match I'm playing, just starting the slow push in the back and continuing to spam until I see that good game message. Activate the King Tower, that totally was intentional, I didn't misclick the NATO or anything. And I'm just gonna start pushing in the opposite lane here. I'm gonna just <laughs> rocket NATO all of this. I think I kill a flying machine, yeah. I think I can kill this Pekka and then just get another Eagle and push going in. Uh, Eagle, I'm a little too early. But yeah, I think rocket NATO, clean all that up. And I think at this point is literally where you just spam any card that you have the elixir for at the bridge and you should be able to pull the win out. That's why I love that 7x. He actually had a really good defense there on the right. I got almost, no, or did get pretty much no damage off of that. I'm gonna be able to rocket all this. Ooh, almost got the E-drag there. So I'm sure I get some rocket value. I'm not going to have to NATO any of this. And then I believe I'm going to be able to slowly get a counter push here. This, this, this. Going to get one rocket NATO here. And I think I pull almost everything into that. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Um, just going to NATO that because I'll pull whatever he wants to defend with. Pretty sure I got it here. He called him way worse than seven X trying to defend than normal. As soon as they got a somewhat push, it's basically over. You kill the healer, they just place another healer. Going against Stuart Little here. Classic Eagle right off the bat, and he's already leaked a fair bit, but level 13 giant skelly, that's gonna be an issue. Magic Archer is a bit of ooh ooh. This is gonna be a problem. I think I can needle everything and rocket there, and then get a good push going. But he's got almost a pretty good anti eagle on deck. Plenty of splash, giant skelly. Basically, lava hounds. I don't think lava hounds that anti eagle. I'm so it shouldn't be an issue. But like, I'm just more shocked he actually has lava hounds. Oh, that's it. That was not the rocket he wanted right there. I think if I can pull this giant skelly towards the middle and get him killed over there, that would be nice. So now the bomb's down, it's going to kill a few things, he places stuff by, but then I just go left lane, I think I'm good. Rocketing there, pulling everything into it, that's a barbell, and I'm accidentally letting this giant skelly lock on, but I think I'm just going to ignore it so I can spam a little harder. Whoa, come on, pull that sparky in. They were talking. That time I actually did mean to set up the King Tower. I thought it would be worth it. But yeah, I did accidentally trade towers because giant skilly bombs are a little bit deadly. 
Uh, could have caught that wall breaker there, misplayed that a bit. Okay, now it's looking good. I guess anytime I get a push going, he gets a giant skelly down. That's going to completely shut down the push. But, like, I got giant skellies too, so realistically we could just both spam them. And then I'm the one with damage on the tower. Uh, another really good rocket coming up here. I'm pulling everything away from the giant skelly bomb. That's a little weird. don't think I have to bomb anything there. I will just NATO it though anyway. I'm trying to play stuff not near that giant skelly so I can get like a push going without it all being blown up. I'm gonna want a rocket for all those. I think I pulled things away from the rocket. Nope, we're good, we're good. Like yeah, I get to a point where things are just moving so fast that cards have to be placed. It's like it's not the most optimal placement. It might not even be a good placement. It's been placed. Even my alarm's going off. I'm not sure what that was even for. I should probably be checking that up uh, after this game, but obviously got my priority set straight. And it might not be a three star, but it looks like it is going to be a win. I'm just going to NATO bar barrel. That seems like an overpowered combination. You will. Honestly, I would like to say I did not have a very good matchup there because he had every single splash card and a giant skeleton. But I still pulled the win out. Alright, on to the next game. Giant skeleton off the bat, reversing Sparky. I could honestly get such insane rocket value off on any Sparky deck. I think I'm going to take that right now. Not activating the King Tower this time. <laughs> and he just throws the chicken about up. You chicken, how dare you counter my Sparky. That's not allowed. Ooh, I feel bad for the guy here. This might be a short game for him. He has the same idea. He's got the emotes out. He doesn't know what troops to play, so he's just playing emotes. He's like, please, sir, spare me. Maybe we'll give him a little bit of a... Damn. Sub one minute? 80% eagle speed speedrun? Let's go. Tempting, tempting. And another match here versus Bland Job. As usual, just mindlessly spamming some stuff in the one lane. When he commits some stuff to that lane, I will mindlessly spam in the right hand lane. Um, that is going to be very interesting. I'm pretty sure NATO Rocket kills almost all that. And then I think Shine Skelly Bomb will clean up the Pekka's almost. Okay, I've got a really good push going here, and I'm pretty sure I can just kill everything he's got going. I think this is going to be another speedrun. I don't know if this is a sub one minute timer. A little bit bad RNG, but might still be able to break the world record. We're going in. Oh, not a sub 45. It'll have to do. All right. So I decided we're going in. We're breaking the record. It's happening. Everything's at the bridge. He's got real recruits. I really do not care. I'm just going to need all those in. I don't mind if they're level 13, 14, or 15. Rocket will be down. Nato's not going to pull the Valk, which kind of sucks, but I do, do I get the wizard? I got the wizard. That's beautiful. And then counter these recruits. Get another push going on the left. I don't know if this is going to be a world record time that I would like. No, my rocket doesn't actually one hit the sparkies. Rocket Nato does, though, which actually isn't too bad. Just, I guess, not the most beautiful thing in the world. Okay, so he's playing this one pretty well. I'm going to have to do better than I'm thinking. Can't just half this game, it looks like. Ooh, really good push potential here on the right-hand lane. Uh, on the left, I think, no, Rocket doesn't defend. I activate the King Tower this game, that was... <laughs> I think I activate the King Tower more often than, like, I don't activate the King Tower with my Natos. But, you know, just making it closer for the content, I guess. Speed of close for the content, I don't think I've been able to get really a good push going yet. Maybe that's something I can do this time around. 
Uh, if I NATO all that on Bar Barrel, that'd be kind of cool. Okay, finally, I think it's time to push. Bar Barrel and that. Okay, well, while I'm doubt when you can't push, I guess you can start making excuses. So, like, the only reason I'm not breaking through, you know, he's got, like, 4,000 splash cards, he's got Valk, he's got Sparky, you know. Um, he's probably also got, like, the internet advantage. My ping's obviously worse. Um, a little too humid in my room currently. Hard to push with Eagle when it's humid. And I probably think of more, but I'm going to see if I actually win the game before. If not, the excuses can be flowing for sure. They're there. Got a little rocket NATO. Oh, rocket um, rocket NATO does actually one hit that. That's kind of sucks. I think I can upgrade my NATO. I'll do that after this game, so uh, that interaction actually works. All right, it's focus sweaty time. I just realized that I have not actually got a quality push off, so I think I have to change that. That was beautiful. Rocket Nito will pull everything in. Won't kill one Sparky. That should be good. I'm gonna have to rocket that. Oh, I missed the um, Dark Knight there. I believe nothing that another rocket can't fix though. Gotta defend here. I don't think I have to worry too much about the Sparky. But I do have to worry about all the stuff on the left hand lane. Mm. <laughs> I think the game's actually looking fairly good for him at the moment. Like, I can't keep. I can't reset the. Uh, what's it called? I can't reset that Sparky with my E Drag so he has the recruits in front of it most times. Ooh, but right now this is looking really good. He can recruit there. I didn't mean to rocket. Oops. I was going for the good old NATO bar barrel there, but I guess rocket's fine as well. Okay, absolutely massive push on the right. I believe that tower is going down. I, I don't see how that tower ain't going down. <laughs> yeah, that was actually a really close game. Thank you guys for watching, and if you enjoyed, let me know, and I'll do more Fin Elixir in a future video. See you guys next time.